Hi, it's Sam from Sanibel Sea School here for this week's creature feature. And for this week, I was inspired by an animal that I saw on the way home from the grocery store. So I saw it while I was driving back and I pulled safely over to the side of the road and was able to take a video of it crossing from one side to the other. So get ready for it. Here we have a box turtle. There are six subspecies of the common box turtle in North America. The Eastern box turtle, three-toed box turtle, Florida box turtle, Gulf Coast box turtle, Mexican box turtle, and the Yucatan box turtle. These turtles can be found in a variety of environments such as near ponds, fields, meadows, marshes, and woodlands, to name a few. They can sometimes be seen in other states outside of their range due to their popularity in the pet trade. Box turtles are omnivorous and extremely opportunistic, meaning that they are not picky eaters. They will eat almost anything, including berries, insects, worms, roots, flowers, eggs, and sometimes amphibians. Box turtle shells are fantastic defense mechanisms. When they feel threatened, these turtles will retract all of their limbs into their shell and clamp it shut, hence the name box turtle. Due to this ability, box turtles have very few predators. If it is safe for you to do so, you can assist a turtle crossing the road by gently lifting it and placing it on the other side. Always place the turtle in the direction it was heading. If you put the turtle back on the opposite side from where it was heading, it will cross the road again to try to get where it planned to go. Please take caution and know your turtle species in the area. There are different protocols in place if a turtle is a snapping turtle, as they have very powerful jaws and long necks. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned a little something about box turtles. As always, we encourage you to safely get out into nature, explore your backyard, share your findings, and inspire others to do the same.